I'm going to build one patch in three incarnations. The patch concept is simple. We're going to take a wave folder, drive a filter with the output of the wave folder, and then feed that filter output back into the wave folder. In the first case, I'm going to use warps as my wave folder. So I've configured warps to the wave folder mode, and I've enabled the internal filter here. Uh, sorry, the internal oscillator. Now, I'm going to take the output here and drive my filter, Polaris, and then feed that back in the second channel of warps. Wonderful. Now, if I let everything through, the filter doesn't filter anything, I get a lot of noise. But, with just the right settings, I get some interesting, chaotic, chaotic results. Very cool. Now, one thing about modular synthesizer videos that's kind of frustrating is you might not have a Warps or a Polaris. Maybe you have Tony Rinaldo's uh, shared system uh, with the DPO, which is a talisman for communication with the half-departed soul of John Buchla. And this is an absolutely wonderful oscillator uh, with a wonderful wave folder built into the final output. And absolutely interesting and great things can be had with this on its own, but let's pair it up with one of its favorite pals, Maths, and what we're going to do in this case is use channel 1 of Maths like a low-pass filter, so I'm going to use channel 2 to control both, and that will um, sort of operate as a low-pass filter, and then I'm going to take the output of channel 1 and drive angle. Angle and uh, the oscillator get uh, added up uh, before the folding circuit. And uh, so we've got the same basic concept. We've got an oscillator um, being uh, added to the output of a filter, which is math channel one, and driven through a wave folder and then back out into the filter. So let's hear what kind of things can happen here. Lots of interesting possibilities. Wonderful. Now, one more incarnation of this patch. Remember, uh, we're going to need an oscillator. In this case, I'm going to use uh, Just Friends. We need a wave folder. In this case, I'm going to use a cold Mac crease uh, circuit. I, I absolutely love this circuit. It's, it's so great. Um, and uh, we're going to listen to that. Um, and also, we're, we're going to need a filter. In this case, I'm going to use another channel of Optimix. And then Optimix will do the adding and we'll feed it into the input of the wave. So both damp and the main control do a lot of interesting. Thanks here. Wonderful. Actually, if we turn off the uh, oscillator, the circuit self oscillates, which is interesting on its own in its own right. I think.
What a wonderful squealing. You would never get this out of Optimix by itself. But the real question is, can we make music with it? And with the modular synthesizer, the answer is definitely maybe. So let's give it a try.